Hello, my name is Nishit Shivakumar Sharley. I'm the main author of this paper, Design and Fabrication of Paper-Based Stretchable Sensor for Respiration Monitoring. The main aim of this uh, research paper is to design a stretchable, flexible, and wearable sensors. It also focuses on developing a facile, low-cost, and environmental-friendly method of fabrication. The, there are two approaches for respiration monitoring, invasive respiration monitoring and non-invasive respiration monitoring. In non-invasive respiration monitoring, sensors are manufactured in the form of patches, bands, and they can be integrated into a surgical mask. Uh, this, this advantages leads to a various demand for uh, variable and flexible uh, sensors in the medical field for human respiration. Uh, the paper on graphite-based sensors are already available which is capable of uh, doing a real-time respiration monitoring. Uh, although these uh, these performs well when affixed to a filter of the patient, but uh, when the sensors are but these sensors are susceptible to cracking when paper is folded. This this limitation leads to introduction of stretchability into a GOP-based sensors. Uh, this paper focuses on uh, designing a new sense uh, new sensor with stretchability, which is resistant to a mechanical disturbances such as stretchable, uh, stretchability, bending, and torsion. Uh, we employed a, a porous paper as a substrate due to its hydrophilic property, and a graphite tracers are used as a sensing material due to um, uh, speedy recovery time and high response. We introduced the Kiragami patterns to make a sensor stretchable. The Kiragami structure is a traditional Japanese paper cutting art, which is uh, that is easily adaptable and deformed. Uh, an, Adobe Illustrator, an Adobe Illustrator software is used to design and employ a Kiragami structure as a backbone architecture. Uh, we analyzed the design in an ANSYS platform, uh, and it resulted in 30% uh, stretch we can achieve in length when compared to its original length. Uh, fabrication process involves five major steps. Uh, in, the, in the first step, a A4 paper with uh, weighing 80 grams per square meter is taken. And uh, to achieve uh, multiple um, uh, sensors in a single paper, we designed a 64 sensor layout with each sensor dimension of 30 millimeter into 11 millimeter. Uh, and then a 2B grade pencil was utilized to deposit a graphite traces on a paper using a hand uh, drawing technique. And this paper was introduced into a laser cutting machine to obtain a single sensor. And a card, then uh, a double-sided carbon electrode tape was glued on both ends of the sensor uh, as an electrical readout patch. Uh, then a conductive silver epoxy was uh, laid on um, graphite tracers and the electrode tape uh, for good electrical conductivity. And, it, and the sensor was dried on a, a digital hot plate for two hours at 42 degrees Celsius. Uh, moving on, we tested the sensor uh, using a Kepler 2450 uh, source meter and a computer for data acquisition. Uh, a D DC fixed voltage of 9 volts was supplied from a, a source meter and a change in current and resistance was measured. Uh, in the first condition, we demonstrated a normal deep and apnea breath conditions. A sensor was attached to a subject and a current versus time graph was recorded about for about 10 minutes. And graph shows a 13 breath per minute uh, under normal condition mm -hmm. and a 7 breath per minute under uh, deep breath conditions. Uh, moving on, we examined uh, the breath, breath, breath patterns after walking and vigorous exercise. Uh, after walking, we noticed it's 13 breath per minute and after exercise, it's 35 breath per minute. Uh, uh, and, the, and we did the stretchability as well, that is 5%, 10%, and 20%. And there is no degradation in the performance of the sensor. So we successfully demonstrated a stretchable sensor for real-time human respiration monitoring. Uh, uh, and the fabricated GOP sensor is stretchable, exhibits high throughput with low investment. Thank you for watching my presentation.